Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. So this is the weekend edition. We're going to take a look at a couple of things. Number one, we're going to take a look at what's going on with Bitcoin. And then we're going to also take a look at uh, how much the miners are being shorted right now. So we'll take a look at where they're shorted now and where they were previously a little bit. We'll look at some of the percentages there as well and see which ones are getting shorted the most. Then we'll take a look at how Bitcoin versus Bitcoin miners performed last week with price performance. Bitcoin was pretty much flat, down a little bit for the week. Uh, I track it Friday to Friday. And the miners had a fantastic week. So we'll get into that. So we got a lot of stuff to go over. But as always, you guys know the drill here. This is not financial advice for entertainment only. Please do your own research. I'm investing in the following coins and companies for full disclosure. And if you enjoy this type of content, hit the like button, subscribe. Helps me out tremendously. So let's take a look at Bitcoin here really quick, see what's going on there. And then we'll get into the other stuff that we have. So Bitcoin right now is down a little bit. It's down 0.32% on the day right now. It's at 30,255. We've been kind of trading sideways here for the last uh, 17 days, almost three weeks now. And really no direction as far as which we want to go. Our top is at um, 31,525. And then kind of the bottom that we've reached here recently, well, not recently in the last week, was roughly at 29,400 some and change. So we're still in this sideways pattern here. We'll see where it actually wants to go uh, forward. It might go down, it might go up. We just don't know right now. It's just no the really indecisiveness in the market for Bitcoin as it is right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so that's Bitcoin right now. Let's take a look at Ethereum really quick as well. Ethereum right now is also down 0.47%. It is at 1,162. So, and we're also kind of seeing this kind of same pattern where it's kind of stuck in between here, uh, between the high of 1975 and the low of 1817. And it's just kind of trading sideways a little bit. But we'll see how it goes going forward. Okay. Um, I had to clear my throat there. Okay, so that's it for those. We'll see how they do going forward. Let's take a look at the miners, how they are being shorted right now. And we got a couple graphs here for you guys, a couple charts. So the first one on the left here is current number of shares shorted. Uh, the middle one is the one that we really want to pay attention to is the percentage of shares being shorted right now. And then the value of shares shorted as well. So we'll go basically from the middle and look at it, the left side and the right side of it as well. So Marathon, uh, percentage-wise, is being shorted quite a bit. That's about 25% being shorted right now. It is 41.7 million shares that are shorted, and the current value of those shares being shorted is about 653 million at this current time frame, with where the price of Marathon is and everything else. Okay, next is Riot. Riot is 16.18% being shorted right now. That's 28.3 million shares and valued at about 438 million. Then we got Bit Digital as 11.19%. They have 9,200,000 shares roughly, and that's valued at 37.398 million. The fourth spot is CleanSpark is at 10% being shorted right now, and that's around 11.3 million shares and 67.8 million in value for those. Okay, and then the top five here is uh, ending up with Hive. Hive is at 6.06% .06 being shorted, so not bad. I think any of those that are above or at 10 or above are the ones that... Well, there's definitely a pretty big uh, short interest, but the ones that are below 10, I think this is kind of normal for stocks to be at uh, short, but obviously the ones that are much higher, that's where we get issues with possibly. And we'll take a look at some of the numbers down below. So Hive has 6.06% uh, shares shorted at 5.09 million, and that's only 28.197 million in value for that. And then you guys can see the rest of these here as well. A couple of ones that I don't have data on is Course Scientific. Uh, and there was another one that I didn't have any data for the previous, I think, uh, cycle that when we checked this. We checked this last time, I think it was back, boy, probably at least a month and a half to two months ago. Um, so it's kind of worth to take a look at what's going on there. Okay, so that's all the data there that we have on these. Uh, obviously, Marathon, Riot, BitDigital, and CleanSpark are the ones that are the most heavily shorted here right now. And when we look down below here, so this is the difference from last time. So I calculated where they're shorted now, where they were shorted then, and this is the difference between the two, basically, dates that we checked this on. Based on this, we can see here that really CleanSpark is the only one that has had a huge, well, not huge, it's 2.6 million shares, but still substantial, that got added to the short position here. Riot was in the second spot here with 1.48 million shares being added in that time span, and then we got TerraWolf and Cypher also getting about almost a million, well, TerraWolf got a million, and Cypher got 909,000 shares added to it. But we can also maybe potentially from this see that CleanSpark obviously has been shorted the, well, increased it in shorts the most. And that's maybe what's keeping the stock down. A lot of you guys have commented in the comments, uh, you know, why is CleanSpark not performing as well as some of the other miners? Well, this could be the answer here, partially being shorted. 
Uh, short interest has increased on them. Other things may be also contributing factors to it, but they had a really good week this past week. So we'll take a look at that here in a second. But go ahead and take a look at the numbers here. The ones that uh, have fallen the most are going to be Hut 8 is down 2.1 million in shorts. Uh, Bid Farms is down 2.04 million. And then we got, uh, where we got here? Bid Digital down 888,000. Marathon is down 880,000. And then we got Hive is down 486,000 shares and Sphere 3D 370,000. And then the other ones, the ones that I didn't have any data from the prior period when we looked at this was Argo, DMG, and Core Scientific. I didn't have any short information on those guys last time around. Okay, so that's kind of the way things worked out. Let me know if you guys agree with this or disagree with this. If you think some of the short position here is going to be a contributing factor going forward for some of these guys and is also uh, holding back CleanSpark possibly as well. Uh, what else is there? Um, I think that's it. Um, I'm a little surprised that Riot and Marathon are being shorted uh, quite this much, given that their performance, their growth, and everything else. Marathon, okay, um, they do have quite a bit of debt. The debt's not due until 26, uh, 2026, I believe, and that's being converted over from shares, I believe, when that does happen. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong there, okay? So that's it. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Next, we'll just quickly take a look at how the Bitcoin miners performed against Bitcoin this past week. And we also take a look at the uh, how far the miners have gone up in value from the from the 52-week lows and how far away they are from their 52-week highs right now. So the green bars are from the 52-week lows. Red bars are from the 52-week highs. IC Core has had a fantastic run here in the last basically weekend, weekend well, maybe almost two weeks now. Uh, they're up 2,000% from where they bottomed, which they bottomed at around $0.04 cents this year. Cypher is up 876%. Also, Cypher is one of the, these newer miners here that we covered this year as well. Uh, they came out of pretty much nowhere along with uh, TerraWolf, but TerraWolf's down over here. Uh, next is BitDigital. BitDigital is also one of those that's kind of surprised me a little bit, being up 664%. Iris is uh, another one that's been doing really good here is up 553%. Digihost is up 541%. Marathon up 403%. Argo up 388 That's surprising also. They also bottomed out um, with fears of possible bankruptcy. So that's definitely helped them out. They bottomed out. I can't remember where they bottomed out at, but they got out of bankruptcy basically, or didn't go into bankruptcy. So they survived. So that was a big pump for them. Terra Wolf is a new one this year as well. Uh, Hut 8, 387% up. They're up. Uh, they have a huge auto position along with uh, Marathon and Riot. But also I think it's going up because of the possible merger with USBTC. Riot was up 376%, Bitfarm was up 354%, Hive was up 306 so far, CleanSpark up 244 DMG 168%, Mossin up 98%, Bitcoin is only up 95% so far from the bottom from this year, and Sphere is only up 20%. So Sphere is definitely the worst performer here, along with possibly Mossin being up basically equal to Bitcoin's uh, appreciation. And then everybody else has done at least a multitude of 2x better if not much, much, much like 5x. Some of these are 6x better than uh, Bitcoin. Cypher's up 8x from where Bitcoin is at. Okay. And then when we look at how close they are to their 52-week highs, we can see that Riot is getting pretty close to that to where they were last year. Uh, Bitcoin is also getting close to that as well. We can see Iris, Cypher as well, uh, CleanSpark, Digihost, Marathon and BitDigital, the ones that are still the furthest away, are Core Scientific, Argo, Mawson, and Sphere 3D. Okay, so that's the data on that. Now, as far as the weekly performance, here we can see that Bitcoin was actually down just slightly, down 0.03% on the week. Like I said, we've been kind of going sideways here with Bitcoin the last almost three weeks now. We'll see how that, gonna, how and when that's going to change either to the upside direction or the downside direction. But BitDigital was down 0.25%, and everybody else has done pretty much better. TerraWolf had a fantastic week. They were up 50.8%. Iris up 43%. CleanSpark up 39%, almost 40%. Riot was up almost 31%. Cypher was up 30.42% for this week. So those guys have definitely done really good this week. Surprisingly, Bitcoin, you know, being only, well, being down 0.03%, that these guys were able to squeak out such huge gains here in this week. Um, so that's definitely a good sign. Okay, so that's on the one week here. Let's take a look at the four week as well, really quick. While we're at it, uh, let's see here. From four weeks ago, Bitcoin is actually up 15.72%. Sphere is down 1.37%. Moss is down 8.13%. So those have done the worst. Best performers have been Core up 136%. Iris up 95%. Terra Wolf up 80 
Hive up 71%, Argo up 70%. And those are the top five, and you can see the other ones here as well. Now going to the eight weeks. On the eight week chart, we can see here where's Bitcoin. Bitcoin's only up 13% from there. We got Mustang and Swift being in the bottom two here, doing worse than Bitcoin is. Top five uh, for the eight weeks are Core being up 152%, Hot being up 98%, High being up 79%, Bitdigital up 73%, Marathon being up 70% from there. And there's the top five. And then you can see here everybody else, how they've performed. And they've all performed a lot better than Bitcoin is. So, like I keep saying, Bitcoin miners are like a leverage play on Bitcoin. When Bitcoin goes up, these guys typically, as you can see here, for the most part, do a lot better than Bitcoin does. Okay. And then finally, on the 12 weeks chart, let's take a look at it here. And there we go. Bitcoin is only up 11%. Moss and Spirit 3D lagging again here. Uh, then you got the top five here being Core being up 147%. BitDigital off 126%. Hot 8, 124%. TerraWolf 82%. And Marathon up 75%. And here you can see that everybody else is pretty much at least at 2x, if not more, better performance than Bitcoin has done in the past, okay? And it's always good to see how things have progressed. And down here you can see the full chart of the last, probably, almost, I think it's almost 52 weeks that we have in here, going all the way back to October of last year. And you can see how the weeks have played out where we had red weeks, green weeks, we had a bunch of nice green weeks here at the beginning of the year, at some red weeks and looks like end of March, or end of February into March, and then things have to start to turn around after that, it looks like we're getting a lot more green weeks, which is good to see. Okay, so that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see what else happens this week with the miners and everything else. Uh, I'm going to be working on getting the clips out for you guys as well. Those will be tr trickling out later on, probably tomorrow and into next week, as far as for the miners uh, updates. So you guys can uh, take a look at those if you want. Those are just going to be the quick 8 to 10 minute clips of those. And we'll call it a day, okay? So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye.